Welcome to Chemo Experts to learn about bleeding. We will discuss what is it, what does it look like, who gets it, and how do we treat it. Bleeding occurs when red blood cells escape from blood vessels. Bleeding can either happen externally when blood leaves the body or internally when blood leaks into muscle or other tissues. Because losing large amounts of blood in a short period of time can be life-threatening, we will teach you some ways of recognizing blood loss. Bleeding can be minor or severe and may present in non-life-threatening ways such as bruising, bleeding from the gums, small red spots on the skin, vaginal bleeding, or nosebleeds that are difficult to stop. Signs of a possible life-threatening bleed include vomiting of blood, seeing bright red blood in your stool, having black tarry stools, coughing up blood, or having blood in the urine. If bleeding occurs in the brain, this could lead to severe headaches, loss of consciousness, confusion, trouble talking, or walking. It's important to recognize that bleeding isn't always as obvious as an accidental cut or trauma. There are several things that can make people with cancer at higher risk for bleeding, such as certain chemotherapy medications, which can lower the platelet count and lead to bruising. Bruises are a sign of skin bleeding, which is classified based upon its size. Types of skin bleeds include petechiae, which are pinpoint hemorrhages, purpura, which are slightly larger than petechiae, and ecchymosis, commonly referred to as a bruise. Tumors themselves can disrupt the normal formation of new blood vessels or damage old vessels to cause bleeding. Poor diet and constipation can lead to straining and development of hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are a common cause of bleeding from the rectum. Fistulas, fissures, and abscesses can also cause bleeding from the rectum. Remember to eat your fiber. Over-the-counter medications such as aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen can all increase the risk of bleeding. If you are unsure of which medications increase the risk of bleeding, ask your doctor or pharmacist. There are numerous ways to treat bleeding. Depending upon the amount of blood that is lost, a blood transfusion may be recommended. If platelets fall to dangerous levels, a platelet transfusion may temporarily prevent bleeding. Other options for bleeding include surgery to stop a bleed or medications that help the body form and stabilize blood clots. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell us what you think. Please pause to read our disclaimer. And thank you for watching.